I'm Jill from Adventures in Nana Land, and today I'm going to show you how to make these cute little cloth bunnies. They're made out of little washcloths. They're great for springtime or Easter. I put a little egg in it. Really darling. I have been making these things for over 30 years, and I have three different ways to show you how to make them. So before we get started, I'd like to show you the supplies that you're going to need. You're going to need a washcloth. And let's talk about the washcloth for just a minute. I really like the ones that are thinner. If you have ones that are too thick, they are going to be really hard to manage. They're going to be hard to fold and work around and work with. So the thinner the better for bathing. Definitely want something thicker. But for this project, get a nice thin washcloth. So we've got a washcloth. We are going to need a rubber band. A little pom-pom for the tail and a smaller pom-pom for the nose. I like white for my tail and pink for my nose. And a little googly eyes. Oops. A pair of the little googly eyes. Now here's another option for those little googly eyes. These ones, they've got little um, eyelashes on them. They're so cute. <laughs> and then you're going to want some ribbon to cover the rubber band. They'll just go around the neck like in this one right here. You're also going to need a hot glue gun or some other type of glue, but I do prefer a hot glue gun. So those are the supplies you're going to need. Let's get started. So to get started, um, you're going to want to lay your washcloth out. I like to do the tag on the back or you can even pull it off. But you're going to start at one corner and you're going to roll it tight. So you want to roll this into the middle, so about halfway, roll tight. Then take the other corner, and I just lay my arm on this one, and I start rolling the other corner. And we're going to roll it in, just like this, all the while doing your good little trick of holding this one with your wrist. And we're going to roll this one into the corner, or to the middle also. Okay, so then you have about even there. Okay, so all three ways to do these have the same start. They will all start this way. Okay, so once you've got these rolled to the center and nice and tight, the first way to do the bunny is to fold it in half. And you're going to take a rubber band and put it nice and tight, so I do usually two, depending on how big the rubber band is, around, and that's going to be its neck. Then you're going to want to make the little face. So I take a second rubber band and put it around the top, like so. So see, now you've got a little face, and I kind of work with it here a little bit. So you squish it up, and I flatten the body a little so that it can stand. Otherwise, it doesn't stand well. Put that there, and so then you can put little eyes on there. You can hot glue those on. You can glue a little nose right there. And then you can tie ribbon around the neck. You can tie a little, or put a little bow in its top, and you've got the little ears there. And of course, don't forget the little tail in the back. Okay, so the second one that we're going to do, we're going to start the same way again. We're going to fold it in half again, except this time we're going to fold it back this way. And you can see when we put, oh, I'm going to use the other rubber band. When we put the rubber band on, the face, sorry, <laughs> is now going to be right here. And this makes kind of a nice smooth face, but you got to play with the ears a little bit. So just kind of work the washcloth around and twist it, put it underneath there so that your little ears are facing out. You've got your little bunny that sits right there. So again, you can put little eyes on there, a little nose, and of course, don't forget the little tail. And then you can cover that rubber band with your ribbon. Okay, so far we've been using this washcloth and it hasn't mattered um, 
because the two types of bunnies that we've done, it doesn't matter that it has this. Now this third way that I'm going to show you how to do it this way, it does matter. So if you've got a washcloth that has this little um, decoration kind of area there, you are probably going to want to use one that is plain and does not have a little decoration. So we're gonna fold this one. You kind of want these with no embellishments on them. And I like these ones that have a little bit rounded corners. It makes the ears a little bit rounded. Um, makes kind of nice little ears. Okay, so after you have it folded to the middle, we're going to take and fold it in half, and then we're going to pull it up, fold it this way. The reason I like this one is because it kind of gives your bunny some little cheeks. They're so cute. So after you've got it folded up that way, you take your rubber band and put it around the middle so it holds it tight and then kind of play with the ears. Now you can play around with it a little bit if you want smaller ears, Fold it out a little farther. I kind of like the big ears. I think they're really cute, but you decide what you want. Okay, so the first thing is I like to put the nose on. And so your nose is, I'm going to put a little dab of hot glue kind of right in between, right there. And I'm going to run just a little bit of glue up inside of there so that that holds together. I'm going to push it all together like that but leaving it open down here at the bottom because you've got the little cheeks. So there we go. Then I'm going to put a dab on here and here. We're going to put our little eyes on. Of course, be super careful with your hot glue because, yep, I've gotten burned so many times. I don't know about you. See how cute that is. Don't forget our little tail. There we go. A little hot glue on there and put on our little cotton tail and make sure your little cotton tail is bigger than this one. A couple of times I've used the really big ones. They're really cute. And there you've got your little bunny all together. Now just to finish off with some embellishments, you can take one or both of your ribbons and just tie it around that rubber band. Kind of hide it, but you don't want to see that. So. We're going to tie our little bow around the middle. Yours will probably be lots fancier than mine. Okay. And I just like to clip mine off. There we go. And there you have it. So you've got your cute little bunnies. You can add other little embellishments if you want. Make them girly or you could make them manly. Put, um, don't put a bow. Just put a... Uh, plain um, ribbon around the middle without tying it and you can just glue it maybe you know on the bottom that hides the ribbon too. Anyway, really cute and fun for your Easter celebration or just fun to have sitting around in the springtime. If you have any comments or maybe another way that you've done bunnies or if you've done one let us know. Please leave your comments below. We'd love to hear from you and that will do it for today. Thanks. Thank you.